Thanks for clicking on my video and welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. My name is Jenny and on this channel, I create budget-friendly home decor that's easy to do. For my first DIY from the Dollar Tree, I have three of these different style pumpkins. I have this green one. I have one here that has the embellishment and I have this one here. What I'm going to do is pull out all of the stems and the tags and as well as the florals that's attached to this one. And for this green one, since this one will be on the bottom, what I'm going to do is take my X-Acto knife and just cut out a chunk of this in the center. This is foam, so it's easy to cut. Because what I want to do is add a few of these stones that I have here from the Dollar Tree, just to give this a little bit of weight. And when I stack these pumpkins, they won't be wobbling or anything. So once I get that complete, I'm gonna start stacking these pumpkins and using hot glue to attach them. So I'm gonna attach that little um, off-white cream color looking pumpkin right on top of this one and then I'm going to add the other one right on top the DIYs in today's video are going to be neutral and I wanted to give them a high-end look so once I get that attached I'm going to start using my ivory color chalk paint and I'm going to get give this entire piece two coats letting it dry in between each coat so I chose this ivory color just to give it a nice, clean, fresh look and still keeping everything neutral. So after I get this painted, I'm not going to be doing it too much to this trio of pumpkins. I want to keep this really simple. So this is how it looks and I'm going to be doing a little bit embellishing. I have from Walmart one of these lamps ears picked and I'm just going to pull off two leaves and I have one of these little wood stems from the Dollar Tree and I'm just pushing it right in the top of the pumpkin and I'm going to add a little hot glue and then I'm just going to attach two of these leaves off that lamb's ears pick and that is all that I'm going to be doing it to this first DIY really simple really clean and neutral and it can blend in with some of the fall decor easily For the next DIY, I'm going to be using four packs of these bamboo rings and I'm only going to be using the large rings. So I have four of those and all I'm going to do is just slide them in the side of each other. As you can see, you can take a little bit of hot glue to secure them, but that's the only dot of hot glue that I'm going to use because they're nice and snug. So as you can see, I added that one and I'm just going to take another one and slide it right in and the more you add to it it becomes more snug and so i'm just going to add the last one and then you can easily adjust these and you don't have to have any hot glue because they will stay in place what i'm going to do next is i have these half beads that i got from um, amazon and I am just going to be attaching these to the sides. So I'm just taking a dab of hot glue, adding one half bead, and I'm going to continue this all the way down. Once I get this one side done, I am going to skip the next one and go to the one afterwards and that's what I'm going to do all the way around I'm going to be skipping one and adding the beads to the next one this DIY is really simple but I think it came out so cute so once I finish adding 
my beads this is how it turned out and I can still adjust everything now I left a little spot at the top and a little bit more at the bottom so it won't interfere with it standing up because what I'm going to do is be adding these Dollar Tree um, stems to them so I have these two larger ones here and then I have one of the smaller stems so I'm going to take this small one and I'm going to add that to the top just using some hot glue so that's why I only left a little bit of space at the top because I just needed to add that smaller stem now at the bottom I am going to add some hot glue and attach one of the larger stems from the Dollar Tree and now for this other stem I'm just pulling off these grass leaves and I did get that pick from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue them right on top of that stem just packing them on <laughs> layering the greenery and then once I get that complete I'm going to take that and I'm going to add that right in the center of my little decor piece using some hot glue and then after I get that placed inside, that will be it for this. I wanted to keep it simple, simple, but a nice high-end look to it. And I think it came out really cute. For this next DIY, I'm going to be using two of these wood cutout pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. And I'm only using two because these pumpkins are really thin. So I am going to hot glue two of them together just to get a more thicker piece because I am going to use this as a leaner and I didn't want it to look too flimsy so after I get it hot glued together I'm going to use that ivory color chalk paint and I'm going to give this just one coat once I get that painted I'm going to take some of that antique wax and I'm just going to paint over the stem and a little bit at the top of the pumpkin I am going to be using some more of those half beads, but I'm going to be using the larger size out of that pack that I got from Amazon. So in the pack I got from Amazon, I think there were like three or maybe four different sizes. And I'll link that in the description box below. I believe I paid maybe $10.99 for that pack. So what I'm doing is just adding all of my beads onto my pumpkin. Um, just arranging them how I want them to be. And then after I get all of the beads on there, I'm going to go back in with the hot glue and start tacking all of the beads down. Once again, trying to keep this piece simple, but high-end looking and able to blend in with any other fall decor. So once I get the beads tacked down, I'm taking some of that fall grass from the Dollar Tree and a couple of those um, lambs, ears, leaves, and I'm just attaching it right around the stem. I am going to make sure that I cover up the hole that's in the stem. After I get that complete, I'm going to take some of this jute cord from the Dollar Tree, and this is the um, jute cord mixed with the white, and I'm just wrapping it around my fingers, and then I'm going to pull it off, wrap it around the center to create a bow, tack it down with some hot glue, and then I'm going to take my scissors to cut the loops. I just wanted to create a little messy bow, and then I'm going to take some hot glue and attach that right at the top in the center of the greeneries and the leaves. Once I get that tacked down, that is it for this piece. And I absolutely love how this turned out. It is so pretty. 
Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did. If so, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. As always, in the comment section below, let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite. And here is a little photo of my boys I put out every fall. This one, they were really little and we were at the pumpkin patch. So this is just one of my little favorite photos of the boys. Um, and I just styled the trio of pumpkins right next to it. Until next time, my friends, stay safe so that I can see you in the next video.